Okay, so we are gonna see like the the uh is there something down there? Just to sip, just to be safe. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, there's nothing. I I was just making sure. Because I thought I saw something. Like a barrel. Okay, this is the level I was talking about earlier, so it's like that one hour level we went through before this like moving platform, except this time we actually have to get fuel, and as you'd expect, when it goes to zero, or when the lights all go off, that's when it just falls, and if you don't have the fuel, then the fuel, then you're dead, pretty much. It's a unique add-on to the uh, previous level we did all this, so you kind of have to think more instead of just go across the platform, well, ride the platform, enemies appear, jump over, and keep going like that. But you actually have to worry about what's going on. So you can't just sit around. Ah, can we get that please? No. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, move on to the next one. Still not the most difficult level. It's really scripted compared to a lot of the levels, but still. Not that you don't have to pay attention, because you do. Yep. this anymore. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, no, that's getting annoying. Okay. Still make it anyway, so ah. Alright. And now we're just kinda barely making making it now okay oh da, da, da. fudge Switch. Apparently, you can't switch.
Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, so that's level that's that level done. Okay. Manic mints minces. Another one, another one of these levels. And more of these wills, because we haven't had enough of the had enough of these. Yeah. You can't really say a lot about them, like they kinda just, just stay the same, like they just go into specific patterns or whatnot. So there's not much to say about them. <laughs> okay. He's gone. He's gonna fall, so there's no point in going back, so whatever. But yeah, I'm, there's really not a lot I can say else I can say about the game, like yeah. <laughs> I pretty much said or not. Said it all. Alright. Okay. Oh. Ah. It's probably a secret. Yeah. No. I don't want to lose Diddy. Donkey is fine, but... <laughs> donkey! Wrong donkey, Shrek. Alright. Huh? Do that again. Or not. Cool. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Okay, no. All right. All right. Okay. Let's keep going. Ah, I can't get that. Uh. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to focus now. I'm, gonna... I'm kind of drained out of all commentary now, like. Yeah. Again, these when it all comes down to it, this is a pretty basic plat platform where all things are considered, so you know. If I was better at the game I'd probably be able to say more about it, but <laughs> Okay. Whew. Okay, obviously we get hit on instantly after. But of course. I hate these guys so much. No! Okay. Okay, hey, now where are, we, where are we going? Loopy lights. Ah, one of these. So basically, it's like, kind of like Stop and Go Station, except this time, what you, what the lights, what the on and off switches are for is the are the lights. So it's not the enemies you have to worry about now, but it's the actual 
actually being able to see. And potentially this can be one of the more annoying stages, especially when you have uh, jumping clap traps. Yeah, those are what those guys are called, I believe. And no, it doesn't stack, so don't bother trying to jump on the same one countless times. I was trying to roll jump. There. Okay, oh boy, that level wasn't fun. <laughs> okay, what now? This has to be the last level, come on. Alright, it's just one of these, I guess. Ah, uh, no, I remember this level. I remember it being kind of challenging, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Hopefully. Oh boy. Yeah, great start. What the hell? Don't know how close we're getting to the end, but we're getting somewhere. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, boy!
really. No! Oh. Oh. Okay, still alive. Really? See what Cranky has to say first. Alright then. Is it like a. Wait, what is that? What is that animal buddy there? Oh, it's just a. thingy, Rambi. So. Oh well. But yeah. This is the refight of Neki, apparently. So, um. Oh, I missed. I guess he just, like, goes higher. That, or you can only hit his. Oh, no. What? The difference is that you have to wait for him to finish shooting his nuts, because that doesn't sound wrong at all. Simple enough. Yep. Again, a lot easier compared to... Okay. Spoke too soon. He's done. Yeah! And now for the final boss. So I'm gonna save state, because this guy is actually pretty tough. So, King K. Rule. This is obviously the hardest boss in the game, final boss and all that. So first off, he starts off with throwing his crown around, and it's pretty easy to avoid now, but it gets really tight later on. But he's gonna change it up late. It's gonna he's gonna change it up soon, so don't worry about that. It's not- this isn't- this isn't all we're seeing. Alright. 
Oh gosh. This happens. Okay. Don't know how cannonballs are coming from the ceiling or if coming from the sky, but whatever. Phase one's almost done. Okay. Oh! Didn't expect it to go another round. Yeah, be pay attention to the audio. Right, when it starts going down, 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 that's when he's gonna throw the crown. <laughs> and oh man, I love this. You think it's over, but. Uh, we'll, we'll see in a sec. The end? Nice oh, save here just in case. Nope. He's back up. Oh, fail. I'm not taking that. Man. Right. Yeah, this is all he does now. But it's really tricky to avoid all the same. Right. Ah. Is that it? Yes, you're done. Woo! And we're finished. We finished the game. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely have been, but oh well. Yay! Time to just eat all those bananas <laughs> and then go sad because you don't have any bananas. We have all the bananas in your house at least. But now, yeah, now, now it's just doing a roll call, like, with all the enemies and stuff. So, final thoughts, I I really do like this game. Like, it's, again, it's a pretty big part of my childhood. I really enjoyed, even even though the Game Boy Color version is technically the inferior version, um, I still enjoyed it back then, and just going, going to, like, the SNES version, like, the original, Feels like a brand new game for me, like just going back, going to buy the Virtual Console get, uh, versions for the SNES version. Yeah, you get the point. Yeah, and it's just, I love the the uh, whole 3D, the whole the fact that there's there are 3D environments and 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 character models in a 2D game. Like this is probably one of the first games to have like full. Uh, well, actually, no. Well, full 3D environments, 3D looking environments. Um, I guess I, I don't know. I don't know for sure, but um, I'd say it's definitely pretty big for the time. Like how, how this, how the game looks and all that. Um, I like the fact that 
uh, is every level all, well pretty much every level has a new thing going on like even if it's just a redesign of a previously played level there's like a new enemy to you can face or a um, new type of obstacle in general and there's always something going on in every level um, and it's it's nice because it's not trying to force a, a gimmick in every level just for the sake of being every level being different like the levels feel different while not feeling cheap in a not while not being cheap in that way um, I like the animal buddy buddies it always feels good when you find one um, it feels really good to find secrets and one-ups like I said and just doing those little bonus mini games especially with the animal buddies getting all those lives and yeah I, li I, I love that yeah I like the character. I like the characters, like just design-wise. Like, I don't know. They just rare, rare. Like just, just by default, bring in a lot of personality with the characters, and yeah, you know, just like with this. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh man. I'll oh, shut up, you. And now for the real credits. But yeah, I really do enjoy this game, and if you're a veteran platformer, then I recommend trying it out any way you can. Like, I, I don't know if it's on the new 3DS eShop. Yeah, new 3DS specifically, because for some reason the 3DS doesn't have it because please buy the new 3ds we beg you but yeah if you have a new 3ds or a um wii u i recommend trying getting the trying to find these um actually i think it's donkey kong land on the 3ds i i i, I don't remember but either way it was originally on the wii for, uh, wii shop channel but they took it down for some reason i think it's because of rare and just microsoft being awkward or just or maybe it's just Nintendo, like, just being safe or something, I don't know. But, just get it while you can, I guess. Because you never know when it's going to go down again. Um, but yeah, again, really enjoyed this game. I like what they what they had going for it. And what I play, I really enjoyed the, uh, Donkey, Kong, Donkey Kong Country 2 as well. But I'll talk more about that when we get to that. But, um, yeah, great game, really, really nice start for the uh, Donkey, Kong, Donkey Kong Country series, and just kind of a fresh start for Donkey Kong in general, because the original Donkey Kong game was great, but this was where it, Donkey Kong's, uh, I guess, to be kind of cheesy here, where this is what kind of where Donkey Kong's true journey started, really, and... I'd say it was a really great start overall, and the uh, thing went. I, I'm just, I, I just want to see, like how. Okay, sixty percent, not bad, not bad at all, not bad at all. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the Don Donkey Kong Country playthrough. Um, I'm not sure when we're gonna go to two, but at some point in the future, of course. But yeah. Again, we're going to go for 100% in that and free because we actually get a secret ending and all that. And yeah, so so with that said, I've been Super Mario Sonic Lover and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.